Hi viewers, welcome to LMA Solution. Today we are going to see about three phase grid connected PV wind system or three phase hybrid PV wind system. So, this is a simulink model we developed for three phase grid connected PV wind system. So, this model consists of the main grid, the main grid rating is 154 megawatt and voltage is around 34.5 kV and then here we are using step down transformer that when we step down to 34.5 kV to 400 volt and then here we have two loads load 1 and load 2 so load 1 is rated at 12.5 kW and then load 2 is rated at 17.5 kW and then it going to be operated at 400 volt line to line voltage and then nominal frequency we consider as 50 hertz so for load 1 is operated at 400 volt line to line and nominal frequency is 50 hertz and here we have solar pv system and solar panel rated at 45 kilowatts and then line to line voltage in the grid side is 400 and then grid frequency is 50 hertz so when you go inside you can see the pv panel so this panel is rated at 45 kilowatts it going to be connected to the grid inverter via dc link so dc link nothing but the dc link capacitor so it going to be connected to the neutral clamped inverter so this neutral clamped inverter will be con controlled by means of this inverter control so here in inverter control you have to measure the grid uh, that means voltage and current after harmonic filter uh, that is VABC, IABC and also we need to measure the panel voltage and current in order to apply MBPT algorithm so here we applied P and MBPT algorithm. The P and MBPT received two inputs PV voltage and current. So based upon that PV voltage and current, it going to be generated the reference voltage. So this reference voltage is going to be compared with the, the DC voltage and that means DC link voltage. Okay. So and then it going to be processed via PA controller. So this PA controller will be generated the reference current that means reference current in the form of a direct axis. So and then here you can see that IQ reference here we are considering zero because so in this control we are going to send only real power from the PV to grid. And then here we are measuring VABC, uh, IABC uh, of the uh, harmonic that means uh, voltage and current after harmonic filter in the inverter side and then it going to be converted into VD and VQ and IDIQ by using power transformation and here we are using PLL so from the PLL we are generating OMAT and then here we are converting that ABC to a DQ not form and then we are taking only VD, VQ and IDIQ alone after that here we are applying that feed forward DQ and decoupling control ok so here we are comparing that IDIQ reference with the IDIQ actual and it going to be processed via PA controller so it will generate some control signal here we are applying that to feed forward decoupling concept and then finally we have the control signal in the form of VD and VQ so next you have to convert this VD VQ into ABC form so here we are applying the inverse power transformation and then the VDVQ control voltage will be converted into ABC and then it going to be processed via modulating block ok it going to be generated the, the control voltage or reference voltage for that um, neutral clamped inverter so this control voltage is going to be given to 3 level neutral point clamp, clamped converter and then here we are using a transformer a harmonic filter and transformer not to filter out the harmonic in the output of the neutral clamped inverter and it finally is going to be connected to the this grid system 
the point of common coupling. So next you have to see about DFIG. So DFIG they having a control in the rotor side. So here um, that means the stator will be directly connected to the grid and then rotor will be connected to the grid via this converter. So here you have to use two conversion AC to DC and then uh, DC to AC. So why we need to use this converter because at a rated condition uh, the different uh, condition different uh, operating condition the frequency of the rotor side is always less than 50 hertz okay so here you can see that this will be operated uh, around 50 hertz because we are considered as 50 hertz frequency so we need to convert this ac power in the form of suitable form of the grid side power so that means grid side frequency right so first we need to convert this ac power into dc and dc going to be converted dc so here only we are converting that uh, dc to ac with the 50 hertz form and it going to be synchronized with the, the grid side okay so here we are taking the power what all power available in the rotor side is going to be fit, uh, feed to that uh, uh, grid side so she, uh, this is known as uh, wf fit induction generator okay and then here you can see that it is a wind, uh, wind turbine uh, drive, uh, drive train model and also you can see here it have to control the rotor side control so this is a rotor side control for the wind energy system or wind turbine and then this is a grid side control so both control using DQ control concept okay and then voltage controller so by means of this it is going to be control this the AC to DC converter and DC to AC converter now to extract the power from the wind turbine via the DFIG and it going to be connected to this point of common coupling so here we are created uh, some uh, variation that mean so initially PV panel will be operated to 1000 watts per meter square after 2 seconds it will be changed to 800 so even 2 seconds it going to be changed the irradiation so now i am going to simulate this simulate the model for a four second so initially it going to be 1000 watts per meter square after that it going to be changed to 800 watts per meter square and then we will check the the responses response of the system so here you can see the response that mean in this scope we can see the grid power solar pv power dfig power and the ac load power and here we are providing some display in this display also we can see the the variation of power in the grid, solar PV and then wind and then AC load and also we are measuring the uh, the grid side PV that mean uh, PV system grid, uh, grid side voltage and current in this scope and then here we are measuring uh, the wind energy conversion side wind energy conversion grid side voltage and current and then here we are measuring load 1 voltage and current here we are measuring load to voltage and current here we are measuring grid side that means a uh, grid side voltage and current so now i am going to simulate this model and then you have to check the cells now you can see that the simulation is started okay and then you can see then this the uh, uh, grid power and this is solar pv power and then this uh, dfig power and then here you can see that ac load power okay and then you can see that this is a grid voltage grid current and then here you can see that uh, the grid and the wind pv system grid side voltage and current so this is wind energy conversion grid side voltage and current and then here you can see that this is load on voltage and current and then so this is load to voltage and current uh, now currently you can see the, the power variation right so here you can see that uh, the, the first one is grid power grid power is minus 53 so what's the meaning uh, that means wind and uh, pv have any excess power so that's why the excess power is uh, fed to that uh, grid system okay because you can see that the load ac load is around 12 kilo 12.52 and 17.52 so almost is 30 kilowatt right and then you can see that uh, PV generating around 46.46 here 37 so totally you can see that 
around 70 and then 83 something okay so 83 and if you subtract that 30 kilowatt right so we will get minus 53 right so that minus 53 kilowatt will be sent to the grid so that's why the grid power is negative so you can see the variation after two seconds because uh, now the irradiation equal to 1000 watts per meter square you can see the variation now you can see that now irradiation change from 1000 to 800 because of that you can see that reduction in the PV power generation so PV power generation reduct, reduct up uh, to 37 kilowatt so before we are getting around 46 kilowatt right now we are getting only 37 kilowatt so you can see that uh, because of reduction in the PV power you can see that the reduction in the power excess power given to the grid also reduced right is around minus 44 because previously for 1000 watts per meter square uh, the power will be minus 53 kilowatt right so for change in radiation condition uh, automatically the power sharing in the system also when we change so and also you can see that uh, now i'm going to stop this simulation and then i'm going to do here you can see that because of reduction in the PV power because of radiation you can see that the current right current uh, uh, amplitude also will be changed and also you can see the variation in the grid side and the grid voltage and grid current right here you can see that because of reduction you can see that the power right so sorry grid current amplitude is going to be reduced right so this is because of uh, PV power generation variation due to irradiation and also you can you can change the condition that means you can change the the wind speed from 12 to 9 9 meter per second and then you can check the result so here i'm going to fix the radiation which is equal to 1000 watts in meter square and then you have to check the result so after one second what happened the wind speed change from 12 meter per second to 9 meter per second so we will check the response so now you can see that so this is a power generation for the particular condition now so we can see the variation after one second because after one second uh, wind speed here we are changing from 12 meter per second to 9 meter per second so because of change in wind speed definitely there will be a power changes right there there will be reduction in the power in the power from the wind energy conversion system so we will see the variation so here uh, we are changing wind speed so we cannot get uh, immediate effect in the, the power variation of the DVG so it will take some time to uh, reach the steady state point because so it will take some time long time to change so we will see that so here you can see that the power is is reducing right keep on reducing because of uh, the change in wind speed from 12 meter per second to 9 meter per second so we will see the variation here right so we can see that variation that we can feel the variation so it uh, decreasing slight uh, slightly with the small ramp right so and also you can see the variation here right so here you can see that variation of power excess power is given to and grid also changing and then so here you can see that this wind power wind power also changing because of change in wind speed from 12 meter per second to 9 meter per second so this operation of uh, three phase grid connected pv wind system and uh, are also the operation of uh, three phase hybrid pv wind system so thanks for watching our videos kindly subscribe our channel and also click bell icon for notification about upcoming videos thank you thank you so much bye bye